Hello there, Pepper Crewmates. We are back for another episode. I am here with my co-captain, Hot Sauce. I'm Big Mike. Thank you for joining us. In this episode, we are going to be covering Louisiana Hotter Hot Sauce. Now, if you remember in a previous episode, we did Louisiana Hot Sauce. This is Louisiana Hotter Hot Sauce. And the ingredients involved are aged red pepper, including habanero and cayenne, distilled vinegar, and salt. Now, the only difference between this and Louisiana hot sauce is they've added habanero. So, um, we're gonna take this for a ride. There's no Scoville that's listed online. Uh, so, I don't know what the Scoville is, but we'll let you know how hot it is here in a second. <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this. I hate hogs. I hate yeah, habaneros for some reason will take you on a weird ride. So, um, I just don't like them. Ever since we did that habanero pepper video, I, I, I've hated them ever since. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't underestimate it, but I didn't expect it. Now this one comes out of the bottle kind of fast. It's not like the fastest vinegary sauce I've ever dealt with. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and put this one to the test right now. Our first test is a spoon test. You okay, hot sauce? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. We actually did a video, and, and if you get a chance to go back and watch it, we actually ate habanero peppers just straight up. Uh, that was as hot as we went. We also did a ghost pepper video. I did one, and I did a Carolina Reaper pepper. So, kind of done the whole gambit of heat. Habaneros can be pretty tough. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and give this sauce oh, a try. You ready? <clears throat> I got trauma from that. <laughs> Just be glad you didn't do the ghost or the <laughs> Carolina Reaper. All right, let's do this. In three, two, one. I completely missed it. <laughs> okay. I need to get another shot. <clears throat> It tastes just like Louisiana hot sauce, except I can't pick up that distinct habanero flavor in there. Um, Heat-wise, um, it's not killing me just yet. It is a little bit hotter than Louisiana hot sauce so far, but nothing to like write home about. <laughs> As you can see, there's a little bit of soak through, but there's a little bit of mash sitting on a good chunk of mash sitting up on top. So. Um, actually, you can pick up all the flavors just like you did in Louisiana hot sauce. Uh, you're getting the aged red uh, pepper, including uh, habanero and cayenne, some distilled vinegar, and some salt. So our next test, we're going to try it on a wing. I shouldn't say wing. These are chicken nuggets. I kind of take get a fence when they call them boneless wings. and <clears throat> They're really just chicken nuggets with sauce on them. <clears throat> So, all right, you ready? It's hurting my stomach a little bit. I don't know if that's just nerves. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Yeah. It's a good sauce. Why they call it the Louisiana hotter sauce? Well, it's 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 a little bit hotter than the the actual Louisiana sauce. I feel it just the same. All right, heat wise, I'm gonna tell you where I'm at on this. Um, whereas I put Louisiana hot sauce at a one, this is gonna be about a one and a half. I mean, it's not like extremely hotter, but I can tell the difference in the two. What about you? I'll give it. A one and a half as well. Yeah, I mean, that hob kind of picks up a little bit on the back end. Um, <clears throat> Flavor-wise, much like the Louisiana sauce, I'm going to give this a three. I'm going to give it a two and a half. Two and a half. So should, should you try it? Should you try this sauce? Much like the Louisiana hot sauce, if you're looking for a Louisiana-style hot sauce, this one has a lot of good flavor to it. Uh, like I said, we gave it a three. Uh, it's not the greatest sauce we've ever tried, 
but uh, it's, it's still a good sauce. It's cheap. I mean, if you're looking for a cheap introduction to hot sauces, uh, this is the way to go. Once again, if you're a chili head, this isn't going to scratch that itch for something really hot for you, but it is a little bit hotter than Louisiana hot sauce. Uh, so if you're if you think Louisiana might just be a little too mild for your palate and you want something just a slight step up, uh, I would put this in the same category as maybe a Tabasco, if that, I mean heat wise. Different flavor profile. Uh, Tabasco has a completely different flavor profile than this. Tabasco tastes disgusting to me. <laughs> well, off the spoon it's not that great, but on, <clears throat> on something, on food it's pretty good. But uh, it's got a good flavor profile. You can definitely pick up the habaneros in there, which kind of makes it almost a non-traditional Louisiana style sauce, but it's still got that Louisiana edge to it. So all in all, I would say give it a shot. You ain't gonna lose anything. Maybe a couple of bucks if you don't like it. Have you tried the Louisiana hotter hot sauce? If you have, uh, leave a comment. If you haven't tried and you say, hey, man, that, that seems like it might be pretty interesting, leave a comment below. Uh, Leave us your thoughts on it if you've tried it. Let, yeah, what did you think of it? Uh, it's, 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 it's a decent sauce. So we like to interact with you. So leave a comment. Subscribe. If you haven't already, ring that notification bell. It lets you know whenever we drop a video. We try to drop a video at least twice a week. Wednesday for sure. Sometimes on a Sunday I'll drop a video. So just keep your eyes open for those coming up. We like to review these sauces. We have specialty sauces that we'll review. Uh, and we'll let you know whether it's worth trying it or not. With that said, we're going to wrap this up. And laissez le bon temps rouler.